Hey everybody, it's time for the first non-pilot episode of Monday Movie Reviews! And, uh... First thing, uh, that I gotta get out of the way is that there wasn't a Webtoon Wednesday yesterday, because I'm recording this on Thursday, and there won't be one, uh, the week this is posted, and going forward, um... Monday movie reviews are replacing Webtoon Wednesday for the time being. Uh, I have to try and get it sorted how I want them to be. Because I just really have to figure out the format and how I talk about things. And if like I'm going to do single Webtoons in each episode or whatever. So, while I do that and kind of just uh, contemplate that, Monday movie reviews. And, uh, yeah. So, the movie for this episode is A Mighty Wind, which is a good movie. only really marred by the ending joke because it's very not good like everything up until the end is really good it's like entertaining it's it's fun but the ending joke being a transphobic joke sours it obviously um and the, this movie came out in 2003. Uh, and I watched this with a group of people. And one of the people said, you know, and pointed, pointed this out that it's kind of interesting how much movies and media have changed in just like, you know, almost 20 years. And how, you know, it's... <sighs> it really is disappointing. Because there are other ways that joke could have gone. Like, they could... If you were going to end it on, you know, a joke, there are better jokes to end it on than a transphobic joke. Like, literally anything could have been better than... Like, the, the character that... Uh... Is <clears throat> is made uh, trans for a laugh again? It's not like this is a through line throughout the movie. It's just literally like a throwaway ending joke for the for, throughout the movie. And I was kind of in and out of the movie because I like I had to go, so I didn't see it from necessarily from start to finish. Um, but I don't think there was, like, a through line of this person dealing with gender dysphoria. So this literally is a throwaway. And for most of the movie, the character, who's played by Harry Shear, um, like, has this fucking Amish kind of beard, and they could have, like, done anything, you know, with that, like, oh, he's fucking Amish now. You know, he, you know, like, oh, he's goth now. You know, oh, he is into, like, contemporary music. Um, what the fuck? There's some fucking thing on top of my PS4. Sorry. It got fucking distracted. Um. But yeah, so. They, the ending is really, really fucking terrible just because of it's like transphobic and I know like, oh it was made in 2003 but that's not really and I gotta watch the rest of the movies that are made by this guy uh, Christopher Guest to see if they also have that those kinds of jokes in them um and I just I legitimately don't know cause I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of um like I'm a fan of pretty much everybody in this movie but like, I don't know. It's not. It's not my cup of tea. 
Anyway. Um. Yeah, so... It's a good movie. Uh, just maybe, if you're going to watch it, skip the last, like, two minutes. Just go, go straight to the credits. Because the, 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 the fucking ending gag is not fucking worth watching. Because <clears throat> it's like, oh, you know, I... It's like all the things that right-wing people think about trans people now. But, like... Yeah, it's, it's that. Anyway. Peace out. Have a wonderful fucking day.